Hi, it's Neil here from neilkittis.me and this is the next one in the series of making a table back trainer.com site. So now we're going to add the logo on to the site we're developing now. So this is a live site with a logo. I'll shut that down. And this is what we have at the moment on our copy that we're making. So I'm just go to the dashboard appearance and header and this is where you can upload an image of your logo that we'll be using the site. And you'll see it says we use images of 270 by 80 and here's a copy of the Tibbet Trader logo and I've got a detailed video guide about this on YouTube so you can watch that or I've also got a detailed post on the neilkittis.me website about it so check it out if you want to do it. So all we have to do here is I need to scale this down because it's far too big for what we need at the moment. So I'll just do 180 by 119 and then change the res resolution to 100 and that's good enough for what we need it and I'll just export that. So I'll just call it TBT logo scaled and export. So now we have a smaller logo image that we're ready to put in the site. So here it is. I'll just open it to show you. So that's what it looked like on the site. And if you hover over it, you'll see the dimensions are 180 by 119. The dimensions that it says it wants to use are different in the dashboard. And this is in the functions PHP file. So you can edit that directly through the dashboard by going editor and then theme functions. This is where you can modify that, but actually I prefer doing it in the core WordPress files itself. And I'm using the local host here, so I just navigate to the files on my computer, which is Turbo Trainer, WP Content, Themes, and then the Metro Pro is what we're using. And then here there's a functions PHP file, so let's edit this. There's an old file open there, so I'll just shut that down because we're not using that here. So we're in the functions now. And I'll just go through and I'll put the upload page on. So the header upload page, put that back on the dashboard. And we'll see we've got 270 by 80. So I'm just going to search for 270 in this functions file just so we know which area to edit. And there it is. And you see this is the width and height. So I'm going to change this 270 to 180, which is the size of our logo, and the height is 119. So I'll go back in here and change this 80 to 119. I'll just save that. I'll shut it down because I don't need it anymore. And when I refresh this page here, you'll see that that 270 and 80 now changes to 180 and 119, which is the size of our logo. So now we'll just go ahead and upload our logo. And there it is, it looks nice. So I'll save those changes. And when I look at the website, and there's a logo, but you'll see the bottom's chopped off because remember the height before was only 80, whereas our height is 119. And we can modify the styling, so the CSS style sheet. And again, we can go appearance and editor, and this is the CSS style sheet here. But again, I prefer modifying it in the core files. So again, I'll Navigate through to the WordPress file, so Turbot Trainer, WP Content Themes, Metro Pro, and there's the style sheet there. So I'll open up this and edit it. And again, I'll search for the old dimensions, which were 270. And there you see they are. So I'll just change these to 180. And importantly, the height will change that from 80 to 119. So that should make the height of the logo area bigger. So our logo will fit in it nicely. So I'll just save that. And refresh this page. And there we have it. There's a the logo showing nicely. And when I hover over it, you'll see the arrow turns to a hand which shows it's clickable. And I just click it to prove it. And that just refreshes the home page. So now we have a clickable logo that links back to the home page. We'll just compare this to the live site, the original tablebytrain.com website. And you'll see it's pretty similar. That's it. There's going to be more in the series showing you how I built the TurboBikeTrainer.com website from the very beginning to the very end. So make sure you check those out over at neilcurtis.me.